check out what's happening at the FMD Q exchange, what's happening at the NGFSC, how it has filtered through to the bonds market and how this has impacted trading there. The NGX super normal performance this week. I'm sure it has some effect and some impact there. The fixed income markets, the rates and the outlook remain mixed ahead of next week's OMO and TB primary market auction and this is going to be the first for the year but we're being joined by Caleb Alimi is a chief dealer at Providence Bank. Caleb good afternoon it's good to have you on the program. Good afternoon Will thank you for having me. Caleb I'm sure you just you've heard what we're talking about the bull has been raging at the NGX this week's stocks have been have had historically delivered higher returns than bonds or treasury bills and uh, yet to date right. I'm sure it was at last I checked it was about 4.3 percent right now I'm sure it's climbing do you think yields in a fixed income market can match up with equities considering inflation rates which is likely to keep trending up and the time value of money it's unlikely. I mean, historically, like you mentioned, the equities market would always outperform the fixed income market. You know, I mean, the fixed income market is for those who are largely risk averse, you know, and then the equities market for those with a bigger risk appetite. And then what we're seeing in the current NGX is, I mean, it's, it's exciting. What more can I say? Look, it's just, it's, 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 it's interesting, really. I think uh, part of the things that maybe playing out could be fear of missing out. You know, um, perhaps the expectation of the uh, foreign investors coming back, you know, coming fully or coming more, more of them coming to the market is also yes. driving that market. You know, however, in the fixed income space, we don't see, we don't expect that to happen. There has never been a time where fixed income yields, you know, outperform the inflation. You know, given all the things that we expect to happen this year, you know, we think inflation will still remain elevated, you know, interest rates still remain elevated, but we don't think, you know, returns on the fixed income space will outperform inflation. Okay, so with that in mind, what instruments are investors playing at, at, in, at intraday? What is, um, what's the most favored instrument at the moment? Our interest. Oh, I think we lost Caleb there, but we, we I having mean that. Okay, Caleb, can you I think about it. Can you continue? Yes. So I said on the bond space, you know, we've seen demand at the mid to long end of the curve from the 2027, the 2028 papers, 2029 maturity, you know, 2037, we're seeing investors demand all of these papers. And then also at the long end, the 2050s, we've seen it, you know, shrink about uh, 35 basis points from, from where it closed last year, you know, and then on the treasury bill space, Okay, I think we have lost Caleb there. Interference but in my network, apologies. Okay. Are you still there, Caleb? Yes, very much. Okay, go ahead. Yes, yeah, so I was saying that in the treasury bill space, at the short end of, at the, at the one-year paper space, we've seen that one shrink about 300 basis points from where it closed last year. You know, it closed about 12.24% at the last uh, primary, auction, primary auction, and this year is already trading around the 9% handle. So, I mean... Okay. And that's because the interbank market is very, very liquid. So the market is up about 870 billion. You know, despite the fact that there have been uh, CRR debits, you know, there's still a lot of inflow in the market. Or there's still a lot of liquidity in the market. Those who continue to chase, you know, these one-year treasury bill papers before the auction next week, where we expect, you know, the DMO and the CBN to set the tone for interest rates. Uh, OMO is expected. We anticipate that given how liquidity is, there will be an OMO auction, but OMO is strictly at the discretion of the central bank so that is not guaranteed but we hope that it comes along and it helps us you know set the tone for interest rates but the entity space there'll be an auction next week the volume on offer is not large and given where the one-year paper is already trading out in the secondary market we expect that it may shrink for that you know given the size on, on offer at the auction so let's say what you just said in summary is that investors should not be looking to um huge interest rates or stop rates at the auctions is going to be more subdued. Is that what you're saying, Caleb? Correct. Given what, given what we've seen, you know, uh, for the year so far, that's what we expect. The mm -hmm. interest rates will shrink at the next one year auction. Thank you so much, uh, Caleb Alimi, Chief Dealer of Providence Bank. We do hope that um, interest rates match what in equities, well, maybe somehow I'll try to catch up with the equities market because investors are definitely <laughs> cashing out there. Thank you so much, Caleb Alimi, for joining Thank us you for this, afternoon. Me. this afternoon.